All right, welcome to the inaugural episode of the Insanity Podcast. With Robbie and Daniel. It's insane! I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed that, Daniel. Right. Yeah, I mean, with all the stuff we're going to be getting into, I basically have to enjoy that. Uh, we're going to be delving into a lot of different things. I think Robbie maybe has some different plans about this first episode than I do. Robbie? I think we do. I know that you promoted something else on Instagram. Um, I know Daniel's Instagram is at coupons are awesome okay and uh my instagram is at patel 7 ravi 7 so if you haven't followed us please follow us right now right now and follow his youtube channel he has a great youtube channel uh but that instagram account is only my business account um not my um personal account so um but don't follow my personal account yes please (laughs) don't 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 say that daniel come on I have a very uh, private account as well that um, I don't think people should know about. I think you have one too. So you're hiding it from me too, huh? Interesting. All right, so... um, Scandal, scandal. Yeah, it is pretty (laughs) scandalous. Um, So why don't you get into the first topic? I think you have some better ideas, it seems, than I do. So go ahead and start. Well, I know that we both had two different things in mind. I know that maybe we can get through both of them. Um, I'm, let's see, you want to talk about the color theory? Uh, I don't know if that's what you want to talk about, Daniel. Wasn't that, that your idea? Mind. What happened? Wasn't that your idea? Yes, that was. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll see. I think you might have just determined if it was a good or a bad idea and then just taken credit for it, but that's all right. Um, so... Are you serious right now? Don't argue over our podcast. Come on. <laughs> That's what people are watching for. People are not watching for the actual content. People are watching for the, the feud. Oh, the drama. And this crap. The drama. They love the drama. Uh, we're going to be talking about drama, too. Oh, How you yes. dream of... Your uh, dreams include a lot of drama. A lot of Instagram drama. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. Um, so, let's start talking about, uh, colors, right? And you might be thinking, why on earth are we doing this? Well, because it's an interesting topic. And I I thought it was. (laughs) Yeah. It was actually me who thought of it, regardless of what you think. And I thought of this idea for, like, I think, uh, one and a half years ago. So, I'm sure it's still a very relevant topic. And it is, because it is... Very simple. Uh, what is a color? Let me interject. Let me interject for a second. Um, I, th- I thought you were not going to be a credit hog. Let's not be the other Instagram people, like on uh, uh, people on Instagram who just take credit for deals. Oh, we're we're already we're already getting into that. Not even five minutes <laughs> in, and he's already mentioning <laughs> the people he has had beef with on Instagram. So I wonder who you're talking about. I have no idea. Um, I'm not going to mention names. Okay, does does this person shop at Rite Aid? Uh, yes. Or not anymore? Ha ha ha. Well, it's actually like two different people. They're two different people. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Well, one of them is now gone, at least. I'm, I'm happy about that. One, one of them is gone. So is gone? Right. Did you have any part in that? Um... No, it's just the rented restructuring that was going on. So, you know, the stores in their area went away. Okay, I think you could have phrased it better than she's gone, but... Um, that's the drama, right? (laughs) Sure, I mean, you've, um, wished people to be gone before on Instagram, isn't that right? Oh, I had, um, I had some things going on in Instagram, you know, my little rants, and then, you know, I have a dream about it, and then... Happy, then you get happy. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, before we talk about colors, I guess maybe we should talk about the drama. (laughs) All right. See that we're getting into my topic then. Yes. Let Let's spill the tea. As oh God. Millennials say. Yeah. Because I'm sure you love talking about it. 
Um, when you yeah. wish death upon people that commit coupon fraud. Well, look, don't say that. I don't wish death upon anyone. Oh, okay, so that I was a joke. just, yes. Oh, that was a joke, I okay. Just, I just want them to suffer in a way that just, uh, they, they just, they're not able to do the deal, okay? Sorry. That, that's what I think. That sounds really suffer. strange. He's, he's trying to make this um, PC. No, that wasn't definitely... Maybe maybe remotely family-friendly is what he's trying to do here. Correct. But that's definitely not what he actually this. thinks. If you want to know what he actually thinks, tune into the private podcast on my personal Instagram account. Oh, God. <laughs> we don't need that, Daniel. Come on. Don't worry, it doesn't exist. <laughs> All right, so... No, it exists between us. <laughs> right, and... People um, surely were very sketched out when you uh, made that post and then almost deleted your entire Instagram account because you couldn't handle the criticism. And wait, I'm wait, 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 wait. That was... No, 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 no. That was not uh, me improperly handling criticism. I do not believe that at all. I do, respect, <laughs> I do deserve some respect. I do deserve respect for the things I do. Um, okay, so you deserve respect for threatening people. No. <laughs> I deserve respect for speaking out. That's speaking my, um, out? <laughs> yeah. All right. It, why, how, how can these people get away with these things? You know, like, it, it's it's so aggravating. I mean, you know, it's just coupons. It's not, it's not the correct phrase you should use against me. Um, no, see, look at us now. Look how we're suffering. We're getting one dollar off of a nine dollar purchase. Like, are you, you made, kidding me? You made like five Rite Aid transactions at 3 a.m. Online, you didn't even have to go anywhere. But, th- th- Daniel, this is a different story. We're talking about story. the the drama that happened about a year ago. Okay. Oh no, there's actually three. Actually, there's three people, Daniel. <laughs> I just remember. I'm not that. surprised. <laughs> Soon I'll be one of those people. I'm sure. No. All right. So um, should I uh, pull up no, the screenshots? No, 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 no. I'm gonna overlay the screenshots here. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> I'm sure people will enjoy those. No, Daniel. No. Okay. It's just. Uh, it just. No, you, you can never be, I, I can never do that to you, or I can never block you, I guess I can say, is because we are too good of friends. We know each other for years now. We know what things that are going on. So, it, and we've been great friends. You know, even even that time I got angry with you and I didn't speak to you for a week. I that happened? Between friends. Yeah, that happened. That happened? Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just you being you. I didn't know you were actually got mad at me. That's funny. It was it was when we were when we were at the conversations of like when we were doing boxer conversations. That's the time. What got, that like, happened? Maybe, well, like, I don't definitely do not remember that. Maybe that's maybe. your fantasy. There's a dog barking. Are you serious? Ruining my party. Ruining our podcast. <laughs> oh, see, look, and you're talking about people <laughs> taking credit. My podcast. This is my podcast. You know, this was all my idea at the start, really. Um, Daniel just got on board with it, you know. Oh no. <laughs> no 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 no. Maybe I'll go in the archives and I'm gonna prove this wrong. Oh my god, Daniel. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is a good time to address um the um speculations that we are secret lovers. We are not. Okay, I, I saw that comment on your post, and I was a little concerned. I was pretty concerned, too. Yeah, I think this is good friendship. This is how good friendships are. Daniel, what do you think? Um, yes, and also, uh, Ravi's mother is going to arrange a marriage for you anyway, so, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Is that how you think Indian families are? <laughs> are you kidding me? 
that was a joke. And you made that post. You made that post saying that uh, your mom tried to anger you by saying that, and then then she said it was a joke. So I thought it was funny. But apparently, apparently you got triggered now. So I'm a little bit triggered because it's still happening. These conversations are not going away. Um, I oh. need your help, Daniel. Actually, with this uh, millennial things, you know, like Tinder and stuff like that. Oh my god! <laughs> you think because I use that? I don't use that. I know you don't use it. It's just I need to understand how it works. You need to understand. To okay. Something. All right. So remember, guys, Ravi is in New Jersey, and it's a pretty small state. So I'm sure you'll find him on Tinder soon. Uh, sure. And also just. Go to I'll my let that and DM me, please. <laughs> yeah, you should um let uh, Miss Empty Nester's daughter know because you know she's trying to arrange a marriage between you and her daughter. That would be awesome, right? We'd be couponing mother, mo- the couponing duo with mother-in-law and son-in-law, right? Is that how that? Is that that? That's well, I hope that's how it works. <laughs> And that that did not seem sincere at all. The the way you uh, said that very monotonely. I'm trying to say it properly because sometimes my my what is it enunciation is bad or something like you guys can't understand what I'm trying to say. So I had to say it. Well, clearly. I think that. Oh, so now since we're talking about enunciation, maybe we can talk about how to properly pronounce your name. Because yeah, I think some Robbie. people have an issue with it, and you haven't called them out because you like these people that don't pronounce your name correctly. Daniel, I can't yell at anyone. I, I've dealt with this for years, okay? Uh, you it, can't yell at anyone, really? No. I can only yell at people that do bad things. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's amended that statement. Okay, Daniel. You're going to use all this against me, right? <laughs> um, I don't know. As long as you don't turn on me. This, that will not happen. Alright. Interesting. So how do you properly pronounce your name? I'm not going to say it because, you know, maybe I'm doing it wrong. So go ahead. Yeah, it's pronounced Ravi. That's it. Ravi. Ravi. Yes. Ravi. Right. Yes. Not Ravi. No. No, okay. And who pronounces your name okay. incorrectly? There are multiple people that do that, but it's okay. Yeah, I've been dealing with this with, in, during school. I've been dealing with in life, so it, it doesn't matter. Which is I've strange. Dealt, I've dealt with it. Because I've always thought it was pronounced Ravi. Not Ravi. That's weird to me. Look. I don't know where they got Daniel, this from. Daniel, this is, this is, it's, it's just, um, what is it? It's, uh, the dial, the dialect, is that the correct term? Uh, probably. A dialect of the, maybe the, the state or the, the part of the country or something like that. So, you know, that, that's how they say it. Okay. Maybe that's true. And yeah, I'm not trying to crap on people that are pronouncing names, um, incorrectly because I am a very nice person, as you guys know. Very nice person. Yes, you are. Um, yeah. And I'm sure uh, there are a lot of people that can't pronounce my last name also. And that's fine. But I'm not going to say my last name for privacy reasons. Because um, who knows? It might come up. Anyways. I understand. Yeah. Um, so what were we talking about? We were talking about drama. And, um, Drama. yeah, mm-hmm. and actually what I wanted to say was when you made those posts, I think a lot of people were thinking, how did you come up with this? And I think they would be surprised by the answer. What do you, what are you referring to, Daniel? I'm sorry. I'm you got it in a dream. You, you dreamt of this post. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, okay. So a few years ago. Okay, let's start from a few years ago. Um, (laughs) I've started this imagination, kind of. And it's where we're on a cliff, okay? 
Oh my gosh, nice... he's actually gonna say this. Yes, it's a nice white truck. It's big. Um, you know, it's like a, it's like a, you know, eighteen wheeler. It's eighteen. <laughs> okay. And it's then a semi truck. Yeah. In okay. my dream, it, it's nice and beautiful. It's clean. Um, but then it gets dirty. You know. <laughs> We have, um, there are some people in my life that they're, they're just terrible people and they, they disrespected me or they done wrong to me. I put them in this truck. Okay. So th that's, that's the thing. That's, that's what I do in my dreams. I put them in the truck and then what happens next? You take a brick, you put it on the accelerator. Let that truck go off the cliff. <laughs> and it's so calming to see that. And they don't know because the truck is locked, right? You don't hear any screaming. You don't hear anything. It just happens and it's done. And then my wake up from my dream all refresh. See, Daniel, how easy that was. Easy. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Silent, silent murder. Yeah, but it's in the dream. It's not in the in dream. Life. Not in real life. Yeah. All right, maybe we'll get into some... These, uh... are, these are natural. These are natural feelings, I think, Daniel. I think we all have experienced these things. It's just, we're not... We're uh, not we're speak for yourself, buddy. About. Speak really? for yourself. Daniel, you haven't thought of this? No! D okay, maybe, maybe because you're younger, a little bit younger right now. Okay, sure. Maybe once I just maybe don't get, take, maybe, once maybe I take twice. criticism better. This, this is, this is not about criticism. This is about, um, someone doing something wrong to me. Like you, you know <laughs> that this, this drama, this drama happened because of some reason. Okay. Maybe I pay so, less, wait, wrong. maybe I pay less attention to people that do things wrong to me. I guess so. Then. Or I just have a different philosophy than you. Yeah, which that's, is fine. That's not bad. We we come from yeah. different cultural uh, backgrounds. Exactly. Yeah. So, Reincarnation and karma are in my. How about you? Uh well, I'm a Christian, so I don't necessarily believe in karma. I believe in God's will. Uh -huh. Okay, so, but, you know, it, it's good to, um, uh, conversate with people that have different perspectives. I agree. On life, yes. And I, I think, uh, we can agree that, uh, we have a lot of differences. <laughs> oh, yeah. As we've, as we've oh, determined yeah. today, I realize there are even more differences than I thought. But look, we're still friends, so... <laughs> what? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You're making me worried. <laughs> uh, I think we'll let the people determine that for, like, the three people watching this podcast or listening to it. Oh, my goodness. I hope more people are listening. I hope so. This well, you, you better this advertise it. It seems like oh, I'm any... I'm advertising this. What? I'm advertising this. Well, you oh, better... Goodness. But it just seems like when you post a deal, everybody goes on there and makes a whole bunch of comments. But then when it has anything to do with me, they don't even look at the post. So that's interesting. Yeah, I've noticed that lately, like some things like personal, no one will care about that, which is really odd. It's mm. because my whole, our, our whole personality is on the internet. <laughs> is it odd? Hmm, maybe people only want your deals and not your uh, personality. Well, you have to get together. It's a deal. Deals and, yeah, it's a package deal. Wait, your audio is cutting out. Your audio is cutting out. Oh. Um, let me know if you can hear me. Yeah, well, I think so. Just repeat what you said for like the last 15 seconds. Okay. So, what I think is that it's, it's a package deal. Okay, you have to get the personality and the deal together. It, it, it's not for the other, 
my whole life has been on this Instagram when I started. I post a deal and then I talk about myself and then I post a deal. Talk about it. It's like a combination. It's a combination. It is a package deal. So when you hit that follow button, that follow request, um, you you need to be prepared for everything that's coming your way. Yes. It, don't people do that anyways? Sure. I mean, I am also, I'm, I'm a personality and I'm also, um, an in influencer that, and <laughs> you're really calling yourself an influencer. Yes. A Reddit influencer. Okay. I can say that. I can definitely say that. Daniel. Okay. So you've, uh, partnered with Rite Aid? No, indirectly. <laughs> indirectly. All right. Well, we can also talk about the fact that you consider yourself a celebrity. I do. Well, everyone else, like my sister and you, don't consider me, but I am. No, I think a lot of people um, consider you a celebrity for some reason. Because uh, my personality and and the deals, both of them. Yeah, that's why I consider myself a celebrity. All right. All right, that's your, that's your opinion. See, don't, again, don't I influence people to buy stuff that maybe they don't need, like like that fragrance deal, or um, a, maybe a they don't feed. need. Yeah. Yeah. Or I don't know, they don't need brisk. <laughs> what about your? Did you just throw your uh, bearded followers under the bus? I mean, a lot of men don't follow me. Okay, we we only have probably five percent. Well, there you go. That's still some people. How many people follow you? Uh, 12K. So 12,000. Yeah. yeah. So how many people is that? 600 people? Yeah. Yeah. And how, but and uh, what percentage of those people have beard? <laughs> what? They probably won't listen to this anyway. They're not going to listen to it anyway, but that doesn't matter. What matters is you're throwing people under the bus. Oh, we still love you, beard people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to, I don't know, okay? This is how I am. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and, and um, y'all are going to realize a lot of things about who you thought was such, you know, such a nice person and all this. I'm um, so nice, Daniel. So, yeah. Uh, don't even start. Don't start. I am oh, nice. Gosh. It's just people irritate me. <laughs> I apologize for the uh, notifications. I probably should have silenced those, but we're going to continue. Wow, um, Daniel. What are you getting notifications for, huh? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with you. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, my goodness. That's not for me to say. <laughs> You're going to make people speculate something. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, uh, have we got the drama out of the way? <laughs> uh, well, I think so. Is that the only dream you've been having? Yes, Daniel. I don't, I don't have dreams about my, uh, Raj, okay? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm definitely sure. Okay. I'm not like um, Stewie from Family Guy who had an incessant dream about uh, Raj being real. <laughs> what? Oh, do you watch Family Guy? No. No, I started watching it because it's on YouTube. <laughs> so okay. I've been watching all the episodes. <laughs> and <laughs> this is when I just noticed that Stewie, that little baby, has a teddy bear. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. But his name was probably not Raj. Oh, it's Rupert. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, um, case closed. Now, it's interesting you even brought that up. I forgot about that, that I made um, that comment. But... I realized that afterwards. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Um, Y'all can still have your theories. I ha definitely have my theories as to what dreams he's having, but... If that's the only dream he wants to talk about, I mean, that is, he, he's told me some other dreams. Um, this is the most 
interesting one, let's say, about the truck. So... Yes, Daniel. Uh, well, let me know your comments below, right? <laughs> let, let me know what dreams you're having. Come on, guys. Let's participate in this conversation. Yeah. Let's not talk about his dream at all. Let's not um, provide some commentary on that. Let's just say what uh, what dreams you guys are having. I'm sure they're the same. I'm sure they're exactly the same. People are having dreams. Don't we all have dreams of where there's this nice cliff and this nice clean truck, an 18-wheeler, if you will, and you put some people in it and you put a brick on the gas And it was, cl it's clean. It's going to get dirty, though. I got dirty. You can put those people in there. You got pretty dirty. <laughs> you got pretty naughty. Is YouTube going to allow this? They're going to demonetize this. Wow. Hey, what do you think? No, they won't. Yeah? Hey, sorry. I don't know what happened there. Okay. I don't know what happened either, but it was definitely bad. I'll, I'll cut this out. Don't worry about it. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh yeah, something about description box. Yeah, if you like put certain terms in the description box of the, of the video, then it demonetizes you. Oh, okay. That's what I've heard. Okay, that's interesting. That's we'll great. see, though. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't really intend on putting anything in the description box, but... Okay. What am I going to put? Oh, let, let's uh, put your uh, Instagram account in there. Yeah, and you can promote your Instagram, too. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, um, your business, sorry, your business Instagram. My business Instagram account, right. And um, there's one one post every month, just about. Um, it's very, very quality, good. Quality. Quality post, quality right. Post. Not like the daily trashy posts from Ravi. It's hey. it's very quality content. Um, okay, well, maybe maybe Tuesday, just Tuesday to Saturday trash posts, but Sundays are not, okay? Oh, he even admitted to it. I was making a joke, but he admitted to it, so there you guys go. I'm trying to be comical. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I appreciate it. I appreciate the comedy. That's what we're here for. It's uh, It really is a uh, comedy podcast. So. Exactly. I hope everyone Let enjoys. <laughs> exactly. Let loose. That's what I say. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, actually. Let loose. We actually didn't. We didn't actually talk about what we do. <laughs> you know, we literally no one knows who we are. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure we the only actually, people watching actually do know what we do. We should just explain ourselves. Okay. We you know what? Actually, You're gonna explain what I do, and I'm gonna explain what you do, just to make this more interesting. Okay, I'll go with it. <laughs> okay. So, if you don't know, um, Ravi is a person that has been on Instagram for, for a long time, and um, it's kind of like a, a, an emotional roller coaster, really, um, with him. And he shares everything, don't worry. Um, he mostly shops at Rite Aid. Um, unless he's pissed off at Rite Aid, then he says he's never going to shop at Rite Aid anymore. And... <laughs> He says he's going to Walgreens, and then he never goes to Walgreens, he never goes to CVS. But when he's satisfied with Rite Aid, he will go to Walgreens, and he will go to CVS. And then act like he still hates those stores. So he's a couponer, maybe I didn't mention that. In case you guys don't know, um, he's a couponer. And he's a crazy one. Uh, an extreme couponer, if you will. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll take crazy well, hold on. I, I, I'm not done yet. Oh. Yeah. So he's crazy. He'll share about just about everything on his uh, Instagram account. And y you might be thinking, well, um, 
don't people that coupon, you know, don't have a lot of money or whatever. No, th this guy makes a lot of money from his job and he doesn't even have his own uh, apartment or anything. He lives in his uh, parents' basement. So there you go. Um, he's going to have a lot of money soon. I have to interject there. I have to interject. I don't live in my parents' basement. I live in a room in the house, okay? I do pay rent. <laughs> okay, a week, I get that out of the way. You, wow, you have some nice parents that your parents are charging you rent. Well, the rent is, well, basically the phone and all that stuff, you know, it's a family thing. Okay. You know, little things around the house. Okay, well, I don't. I wouldn't consider that rent. Yeah. Rent well, is just well, the, how, how much are you paying for your room to have a room? That's the classified. Okay, that's classified information. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we don't need people coming to my uh, um, my uh, house and uh, asking for rent. I'm your room. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um... Although I haven't leaked your uh, address yet, uh, so not <laughs> All right, so there's my uh, explanation. I think you, um, uh, it, uh, yeah, I think I summed it up pretty well. So you can uh, do uh, my uh, biography now. You want me to do yours? Well, yeah, it's only fair. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> he, he doesn't even want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> you do your intro. Why? <laughs> you are doing this better than I would. What do you mean? People are watching the podcast for you. Because you're crazy. So people want to know how you would describe me. Okay, Daniel is, is a person. He's a, he's a person, right? Um, I think I am a person. He, I think I would say yeah. that. Yeah. He lives in the West Coast, okay? So he's in a different... On the West country. Coast. Okay, on the West Coast. See, my English is kind of a little bit bad. Um, but yeah. Uh, yes, you also do couponing. Uh, not as much. You used to do CVS, but um, CVS did wrong. So you had to... Even right. CVS? What actually happened and is all of the uh, bad people, or no, all of the good people at CVS people left, and then all of the bad people got in there, and yeah. And uh, that mixed with um, how boring CVS is and getting the exact same stuff every week. So I just... Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, R Rite Aid is um, much more interesting, like... Um, one week you can get a Carex urinal for free, and the other week you can get some ice cream for free. Yep, we have variety at Rite Aid. Right. That's why I like Rite Aid. It's unique. <laughs> it's unique, just like you. So continue. Exactly. Yeah, so now he he goes to college, okay? And uh, he doesn't coupon as much. He usually tries to follow my deals. <laughs> Yes. My writing <laughs> And, uh, yeah. He is a good kid. He's a good kid. Okay. Yep. What else do you want me to say? Okay, I mean, that, that's good <laughs> enough. You do, okay, you, okay, you do hustle on eBay. I have to tell you that. I hustle on eBay. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, so if He's you need any... Good. If you need any eBay tips, um, you can uh, message me on Instagram. I'm sure I'll answer in like yes, in like a week when I remember. Oh yeah, that person messaged me. Although I'm sure nobody's don't gonna God. message me anyway. What? <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't say okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like how you said that. I go you to college. Please. I go to university. Okay. Mr. University. You okay. went to university too. Would you um, say that's the same thing as college? I mean, it okay, is, fine. in a way. It is, it's, uni it's a university, you're right. Okay. <laughs> but we can also mention that I'm not doing very well. But that's a different story. It's only my first year. Daniel. Are 
Are you serious? Uh, yeah. But we can, uh, we can talk about how you were doing over there at your university. I know which university it is. I'm not going to mention it for privacy reasons. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure you were... I did, did fine, too. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the first year or something? Is that, that That's what you're saying? I guess. Are you, are you talking about the first year? Well, it is my first year. No, 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 are you just talking about in general, like, first years are always kind of hard? Uh, yeah, I do. I well, know. yes. Especially how, um, interesting it was where, um, this, uh, third uh, quarter, the spring quarter is now all online. Which I don't like online oh, classes, yeah. but I think you do. You said you do. I liked it better. I'm at home. It's easier. <laughs> yeah, well, you you work from home now, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And uh, even before this um, uh, COVID thing, uh, you were working at home as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So he, he has a pretty nice job. But we're not going to talk about it. Um, no, don't, yeah, let's not talk, delve into personal details. Okay, so People we're... Don't need to know. <laughs> Uh, how, how long are we doing this thing? Because we're uh, almost uh, 38 minutes in. Oh, I don't know. Uh, we're doing it for an hour? We didn't even... Do you want to? Then that's fine. I mean, actually, we didn't even start talking about color. We didn't start... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we need to, part, to make a part two of this afterward. We're a part, part two of, of the first episode? <laughs> yeah. Well, we can talk about it. I th but I think everyone enjoyed the drama aspect Um it was much more interesting than you need to colors. Make a clickbait title. A clickbait <laughs> title. Yeah, couponing drama. What? Oh no, I can. Oh no, that's so bland. I know it's bland. I, that was kind of. Robbie bland. dreams of what? <gasps> oh yeah. That's not a clickbait title. That's not a clickbait title at all. <laughs> or. Ravi kills people in his dreams? What? Okay, let's not put that word in there. Come on. Okay, I'll put a star instead of the I. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah. So, okay. Start off the topic of uh, colors and your uh, logo. Your brand. Okay. I guess we can start with that. Um, so you guys, maybe if you follow on Instagram or YouTube, you guys know that I use a consistent, um, consistent picture with, within, uh, all of, uh, the social medias. So I use this purple background with an R that's yellow. So you may be wondering what this is about. Why am I not showing my face? Why is it just colors, and why is it just an R? You show your well, face? What are you talking about? What? You show your face? No, 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 no. On, on my, um, the, what do you call it? The, pit, the, the profile, profile picture. picture. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, the reason for this logo is because you don't need to see my face, kind of, you just need to know... The personality behind it. You need to know what the what, what is this page about. You just need to know that. That's the reason for this profile picture. And now I'm going to talk about the colors aspect of this. All right. So let's start with the purple background. Let's do it. What I think, yeah. So let's. So there's a purple background. Okay. This symbolizes royalty. Right. Oh, you know, Daniel is gonna. Daniel is gonna be like, "Oh my Ooh. god, this guy has big ego. He has a big ego right there." <laughs> well, you said it, not me. Yeah, well, I know, I know what people are gonna say because I already felt it. <laughs> I just felt it. And the royalty part is because I, it, it, I, I, I think I kind of am. Okay, Daniel, I, I think I kind of am. I'm because sure some people will object. Things. Object. Really. I, well, I think so, yeah. I, I guess they will object because I'm uh, only a certain place in the social media spectrum, I guess you can say. <laughs> oh, 
but it does that's my favorite color purple has been my favorite color it's a rare color that's the reason i like it it's part of my identity i guess you can say it is you have a right. purple suv right no it's red it's but, red um, oh i thought it was purple yeah. okay it's similar so say it's similar yeah but you won't find a purple car that much in the world You'll oh that's why it. yeah it's rare right yeah yeah there you go all right there's an explanation <laughs> exactly yeah so he so thinks he's royalty also, yes that well that's one part of it okay and then the second part is because it's imagination and and it's imag imaginative creative and spirit spiritual i guess you can say that. i'm trying to say these words <laughs> my goodness uh so yeah that's what i it, it, it's it's creative you, you guys can see in the instagram post i do i'm trying to be creative i'm trying to be funny when i'm posting these deals like remember that time that i had those eyelashes and i was like trying to pretty find myself or whatever with the little eyelashes what that we got for free at right aid you did that yeah well, you know, the, the picture of the box, you know, the Ardell lashes. Okay, I, I must not remember that, unless it was just lame or something. I'm still waiting on the uh, beauty product review, because you can choose any product um, from your stockpile that is a cosmetic, and um, you can give a review of it, and I will pay to see that. <laughs> you want a foundation review, I know that. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think there's some more interesting things you can find in there. What, you want an eyeshadow review? Mmm. Spicy. You want blue eyeshadows? Ooh, blue spicy. Eyeshadows <laughs> I'm sure some people would love to see that. Whoever Considering all of the people content. that you watch on YouTube that uh, do those things. Oh, I actually stopped watching a lot of people on YouTube. Okay. All right. That's good. I think drama is toxic. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you heard it here first from the drama king. Drama is toxic. <laughs> that should be a clickbait title, right? Is drama toxic? <laughs> That's a boring title. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm not creative right now. It's because I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> You're know. nervous. You're nervous. I don't yeah, you talked about the the truck. And you say you're nervous. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how people are going to perceive me after this. <laughs> well, I, I think in a very positive fashion. Definitely. I really hope so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But I, I'm sure, I'm sure, sure, sure. Yeah, definitely positive. I mean, come on. Um, how could you see this in any negative way whatsoever, right? Yep. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> so, you've talked you, you've talked about purple, and you said that it was it was uh, royalty and it was rare, and it yep. was creative. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you you use yellow as well. Yes. So yellow is just um, you know the yellow is symbolizes the sun well my name ravi means sun literally the sun um that's in the sky <laughs> and uh, it uh, emphasizes happiness and and egoism <laughs> literally <laughs> literally well, that's actually that's very interesting because that's pretty accurate yes so I have to, I'm clarifying that. I, I understand. I, I'm embracing this. This is happening. And that's who I am. <laughs> that's who you are. Yeah. I mean, that's very interesting. I did not know that about your name. So I think we all learned a little something about why uh, he has such a big ego. No, my name means the sun. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. You don't want to. You, okay. You're only gonna exactly. say the other part once, and you're not gonna say it again. Exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So um. Okay. That's yeah. all I have to That's, say. How about you? What do I have to say? Well, I don't know. My favorite color is uh green. I think it was it was it was yellow at some point, and then I. I don't really care, honestly. 
Um, but if you look at my channel, there is a lot of green in there. Yes. Also, yes, also like a, a dark, dark blue is nice. Um, yeah. So, we will see. Positivity. Positivity. Positive. That's what it means? Mm-hmm. Okay. And harmony. And harmony. Okay, yeah. See, I don't even know any of these things. So it's very interesting. Um, so I think we wanted to talk about uh, what a color is and how, how these things work. So what what you is a color? <laughs> you can take that. <laughs> I can take that? Okay. You can take the color, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so how can we uh, know if the colors that we are looking at look exactly the same to everybody um, in the universe? How do we know that? How do you know that uh, my yellow is your yellow? Bro, deep. Yeah, see? Boom. Mic drop. He didn't even he didn't even say anything. He was just thinking about it. He's like, wow. But uh, does anybody actually care is the other question. Well, yes. I think people do care in a, in a little bit in the back of their mind they care. Like, right. maybe not as much as us. Well, not you, sorry, me. <laughs> <laughs> I care a lot about logos and colors. I, I invest my time in these things. It's just, maybe I find, because I'm a little bit more creative-minded, maybe that's why. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're very creative-minded. Definitely. I I felt that was a, a little diss there. It was a diss? Well, I don't know. Um, I'm not definitely not a creative person, so you're definitely more creative than me. Let's say that. I take that as a compliment. Thank you. Yeah, you're definitely welcome. Yeah, uh, I mean, you have some very creative ideas, like uh, arranging Sharpies um, to spell out your name. Yes, I did do that last year. Yeah, and you you um. Uh, archive that post then you brought it back and I think it's still sitting there yes it's sitting there because that's my go-to post just in case I delete everything on my page <laughs> all right and, and you have turned off commenting yes because people are going to talk about the deal for that right that's why I have turned off <laughs> right oh you think people are going to ask you where you got the sharpies and what's the deal on them well it also talks about something that happened last year so i don't want it to resurface oh so, there are there are yeah. posts on there there are co okay yeah. i see Comment. all right that interesting all right and we talked about that earlier what those uh posts were so um you can uh you you already know um yes we talked about yeah it. unless you fell asleep during that portion which is valid um i hope no one tells me oh, this is so interesting <laughs> this is so interesting i agree i agree it's definitely very interesting um so yeah all right so what do you think uh what do you think is the purpose of uh, colors well i think that the purpose of colors is just to bring emotions out bring out the 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 best in nature and all that we we need to have color in order to you know absorb everything in order to absorb everything okay that's good that's a good um representation and i i would agree um it's definitely to uh make life more interesting i mean could you imagine if we lived in black and white that would be very boring because if you look at let's say a movie that's in black and white but well, you you can't really um see that in sort of a colorful way you can't really imagine that where all of these um shades of white and black are in the actual color they were and it's very boring Exactly. Yeah. Very, very interesting stuff. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I think uh, th this topic needs to be 
more we need to go more in depth a bit later i think but right now let's just start the conversations we have started we've started the conversations and maybe yes. you guys will have some input in the comments so for that one person still watching that's still with us put a comment below so we know and um yeah so I think, I don't know, I thought we were going to talk a little bit more about this, but it seems kind of boring anyway. Um, I think we can start the topic of your blog, which you do have a blog. It, if you don't know, um, the link for that is zravi.exp.blogspot.com. So if you didn't catch that, I'll put that in the description. What? Not a real blog. Not that's a, a that's blog. a blog. So three years ago, you put a post saying um, there are going to be a lot of posts about random issues. So be prepared, and then type like a giveaway in the comments so I can start to find a giveaway to give away. Maybe I should delete the post like right now. <laughs> so um, what are you going to start posting on there? I don't think I'm going to post. You're not going to post. Are you still going to do a giveaway? Because I put it in the comments, so you need to start finding a giveaway to give away. Um, do you really see that post online? Oh, did you just delete it? Hmm, maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, no, you didn't. It's still here. All right, so I'm going to, in case it is deleted, I'm just going to take a few screenshots here, and we're going to overlay approve. these in here. I don't approve. Um, yes, you do, because it's going on my channel. So that's great. All right, we're just going to put that in there. Perfect. Okay, so, um, yeah. Yeah. That's that, and um, so hopefully Ravi in the near future is going to do a giveaway. And I hope that people enjoy uh, what you're going to give away. I think you gave away $1. That that was your biggest giveaway was $1 that you gave away. But there was a principle behind the $1. It was the principle behind <laughs> Because you can do a lot with $1. Uh, you can buy a lot of candy with freshness, Peelies. Right. And maybe for the non-couponers watching, uh, what is a freshness peely? The freshness peelies are what, um, they're on the product in the Rite Aid stores, okay? And there are, they're there to get rid of the stock in the store. Um, if they're expiring or, you know, there's some defect to it, then um, they can get rid of it. Yeah. It's a freshness sticker. Yeah, and Ravi buys those all the time. So he has a lot of expired product in his stockpile. And, uh, you know, like some people collect, let's say, wine, and then they, they keep it there and it ages and, they you know, it, it tastes better or, or what have you when it ages. But, no, this dude has candy in there. I'm sure he has some candy from, like, four years ago that expired four years ago, and that that's what his collection consists of, right? I guess you can say that. <laughs> yeah, see, he's definitely not refuting that because it is true, 100%. Um, and that's what we do here. What we do here is we tell the truth because it's important. Yes? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So, uh, yeah. and uh, Oh, and go ahead and follow uh, Ravi's Twitter account, TweeterRP777. That's private, so I'm not going to accept that many people. <laughs> Although you put it in your blog, so it must be public. Your blog is public. So that's very interesting. Okay, well, I deleted that post, so that's great. Okay, that sounds great. That sounds great. All right. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first. So now you know exactly when he deleted these posts. All right, so there is no... Uh, Thank you. There's no evidence. There's going to be some evidence, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so uh, do you have anything else you want to say, Robbie? Uh, no, I think we did a. I think this was a great podcast. <laughs> I agree. I think it was excellent. 
Um, I think we advertised this, uh, like, uh, over a year ago, definitely. Year and a half, I think. <laughs> yeah, something like that. And, uh, we delivered. We actually delivered on one of my crazy ideas. Um, so hopefully, at least a few one people... One of our crazy ideas? What? One of our crazy ideas? Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Um... Yeah, just because uh, you said, oh, I love that idea. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, my goodness. And then, yeah, okay, now, now you have some sort of uh, credit for that. That's all right. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. It's almost an hour long, just like a uh, typical podcast, I think, is an hour. or Maybe they're two hours. I don't know. But uh, I don't think you need any more of this um, mess. And I, I think I, I've kind of let out all my uh, creative energy because, as you know, I'm not a very creative person. But I think I've um, given that all uh, here. How about you? Yes, I think we did really good. I just want to put a disclaimer at the end. Can I say disclaimer? No. Yeah, you can say um, disclaimer. Uh, yeah, just make sure to give credit where credit is due. That's one of the things I wanted to say. <laughs> Yeah, and um, just in case you were wondering, that is basically the only reason there are people on a truck that he wants to, um, well, y you already know the, the deal. Um, that, that's one of the main reasons is people not giving him credit, but um, that's as much as we're going to get into that drama. I'm sure you all know that already, um, so that's that. Uh, yeah, if you want to uh, follow me and look at those uh, posts that I post uh every month, uh, just about, very quality posts, like, you know, uh, me complaining about $5 a pound tomatoes, uh, something like that, Gr great quality content, um, you can uh, go over there, it's a public account, don't worry about it, it's my business account, um, just uh, give a follow in there, uh, or don't, I mean, you don't really have to, Robbie's account is private, because he's a very private person, um, I mean, not anymore, but, you can follow him over there. It's patel 7 Robbie 7 uh, My account is Coupons Are Awesome. I'll put it in uh, the description. Go ahead and give a subscribe to my channel and his channel as well. Um, and we thank everybody for watching. And I hope you have a great day. And if there is going to be a second episode, I hope you tune into that. And uh, we appreciate it. Isn't that right, Robbie? Yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Peace.